New developments now in the case of this couple who had their lives altered forever. A wife says a stranger punched her husband while they were at a restaurant and her husband died the next day. Now, weeks after we first told you about this investigation, we are learning of a new development in the case. New 6's Troy Campbell is live at the state attorney's office tonight with this update, Troy. Police well, said, Matt, Orange County deputies first arrested Benjamin Hernandez Jr. Um, for aggravated battery. That was because the victim was still alive. However, when he died, that case was handed over to prosecutors here at the state attorney's office who decided to change that charge to manslaughter. The victim's wife tells News 6 that her husband did nothing to aggravate the suspect. State Attorney Aramis Ayala filing a new charge of manslaughter against 28-year-old Benjamin Hernandez Jr., Investigators say he punched 51-year-old Shrek Srinivasan one time inside the Miller's Ale House located on West Erlo Bronson Memorial Highway on June 4. Srinivasan declared brain dead after falling to the ground and hitting his head. Court documents show Hernandez claims to have stepped in after hearing Srinivasan argue with his wife while having dinner at the restaurant. My husband pleading with him to stop. The victim's wife, Barbara, sitting down with New Six the morning after pulling her husband off life support. I did not ask for this guy to aid me whatsoever. He butted into what was supposed to be between a husband and a wife, a very loving husband. Hernandez was released on a $3,500 bond while the victim was still alive after being charged with aggravated battery. When he died, investigators said the case would be handed over to homicide detectives. And we called and emailed the attorney representing Hernandez. We've yet to hear back. As of now, he's scheduled to be arraigned on the manslaughter charge here inside the Orange County Courthouse on July 11th. Live in downtown Orlando tonight, Troy Campbell getting results, News 6. Troy, thank you.